Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to try to touch on the major advantages and disadvantages between the Crypto.com wallet, which is the DeFi wallet, a non-custodial wallet, or using the Crypto.com app, which is going to be a custodial wallet. And after going over these main advantages and disadvantages, I'll also take you into the interface of both apps so you can see the differences and how they look. But starting off with the DeFi wallet's advantages, so you're going to have 100% control over your crypto and your private keys. And Crypto.com does not require you to provide your identity, so risk of data breach is lower. Now the disadvantage to the DeFi wallet is you need to pay transaction fees as the transactions are on chain and you have to wait for the transaction to be confirmed. And the big downside is if you lose your recovery phrase, you will not be able to access your wallet and crypto. Or if somebody steals your recovery phrase, they could also get access to your DeFi wallet. And with your recovery phrase, you're going to want to write this down with pen and paper and hide it in an offline area. You don't want to take a picture of it. You don't want to store it on your computer. Technology ways to store this phrase in an online situation can be hackable. So that's why it's recommended that you physically write it down and don't share it with anyone in an offline setting. And it's understandable if you don't want to go along with this particular risk because it can be very devastating if you lose access to your wallet and your crypto altogether with no way of recovering it. Now to talk about the Crypto.com app, which is the custodial wallet. The advantage is if crypto transfers are made within the Crypto.com ecosystem, you will not be charged any fees. And there's no major effect if you lose your private key or recovery phrase. It's easy to regain access via the Crypto.com support team. But the disadvantage is you need to prove your identity and perform the Know Your Customer ID verification. And your wallet is not fully decentralized as Crypto.com is the wallet custodian. So when you hear people saying, not your keys, not your coins, this is what they're referring to. So for me personally, I started off with a Crypto.com app account and I set that all up. And then just recently, I set up a DeFi wallet and I haven't transferred any coins over to the DeFi wallet yet, but I want to show you the different interfaces of both of these applications. So starting off with the Crypto.com app, we can see from the homepage, it'll have your total balance, your favorite cryptocurrencies, the top gainers of the day, some news. And here towards the top, you have the ability to trade cryptocurrencies as well as transfer them. And if you wanted the Crypto.com Visa metal card, you can't do it through the DeFi wallet. It has to be through the Crypto.com app. And you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, that there's this tab that says card you have to go through that area and stake a certain amount of the crypto.com coin if you want to get one of those metal visa cards now over in the crypto.com DeFi wallet what we can see from the home page is we have different cryptocurrencies right here and how much that you have of each of those the gas fee is going to be here in the upper left hand corner and you can click on that to get more information also your settings are going to be in the same place in the upper left hand corner area as we saw over on the previous app you can send as well as receive cryptocurrencies right in this area through these options. And then at the bottom, we have our wallet, which is what we're currently selected on. We can swap cryptocurrencies with this option here. And in the bottom right hand corner, it says earn. And this is the area where you can stake your cryptocurrency to earn interest on it. And this is also something that we can do over in the crypto.com app. And going back over to the crypto.com app, just to show you where this is, if you open up accounts and we click on crypto earn, this is going to be the area where you can stake your cryptocurrency to earn interest. And it's also important to note another major difference with the DeFi wallet compared to the Crypto.com app is the DeFi wallet, this isn't going to be a place where you link up your external bank account, transfer in fiat currency, and then purchase your cryptocurrency with that. No, this is going to be a place where it is your own private wallet, your own keys, your own coins that you can transfer in cryptocurrency from an external wallet, which would be the receive option. Or if you had cryptocurrency in your DeFi wallet, you could send it to an external wallet. But where you buy cryptocurrency with fiat money, for instance, you can do it over at the Crypto.com app, but you can also do it on other exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, there's a bunch of different options. And whatever external wallet that you happen to have cryptocurrency on, you'll have the ability to send and receive it to your Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So here at the end of the video, I just wanted to touch on some reasons as to why you might either use the Crypto.com app or the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. But to be honest, there's nothing stopping you from using both of these if there's some features that you wanted to use on the Crypto.com app and some other features that you might want to use with the DeFi wallet. But to start off, if you want to own your keys and your coins in your own wallet, then you'd go the DeFi wallet route, especially if you're a more experienced cryptocurrency user and you're not worried about losing your passcode phrase. An additional benefit to the DeFi wallet is you can also potentially earn some better interest rates on staking. But there's also potentially a lot of reasons why you might want to go the Crypto.com app route, especially if you're a newer user just getting started off with crypto. You don't have to worry about losing that passcode phrase. You can recover your account easier. 
And the Crypto.com app also gives you access to that metal Visa debit card, which has a lot of perks associated with it if you stake at the different levels. For instance, I'm staked for the 4,000 US dollar level Crypto.com card, which is earning me 10% interest on that staking. And I'm also getting reimbursed for Spotify Premium and Netflix. And there's no fees when doing transfers and transactions within the Crypto.com app itself, where you have to pay the gas fees over using the DeFi wallet. So again, there's a lot of pros and cons to both of these. And you can actually just end up using both of them and using the advantages of both different apps if you're looking to do that as well. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.